Gibbs Gaming. Hey YouTube and welcome back. I'm Chris over here at Gibbs Gaming. As you can tell we're doing another Fallout 76 build. It's our shotgunner build. He's going to be a little tanky because his whole job really besides just pumping a couple shotgun rounds down range is going to be soaking up those rads for our team. Before we get into the build make sure that you hit the subscribe button and if you're not already a subscriber anyway and then make sure you hit the bell notification so that you can stay up to date with all of the builds that we've been doing so far not to mention all the other great content that we have being put out for you now let's get into this build guys as you can see we're starting off with strength at 15 I'm gonna do two points of pack rat that's just because this guy is gonna be carrying some junk with him at all times so we want to make sure that he can uh, carry everything else he needs then we're going to do, of course, Shotgunner, Expert Shotgunner, and Master Shotgunner. That way we're doing that up to 60% more damage with our shotguns. I'm doing one point into Traveling Pharmacy because this guy's going to be able to do a Field Surgeon over there on uh, Charisma. And that allows him to uh, get those stim packs to go a little bit faster and his radaways to go a little bit faster. That way he can continuously soak up those rads for our teammates. I also do Scatter Shot. Now the cool thing about this is it's going to make our shotguns weigh 90% less and we can reload them 30 percent faster so that all said and done there that completes our strength perk tree now under perception we're getting skeet shooter this actually makes it to where our shotguns have a smaller spread and a higher accuracy at longer range that actually increases how much damage we can do with our team now, under Endurance, we have seven points. We're doing Ironclad because this guy's not going to be wearing power armor. He's usually going to be just out there with like a uh, hazmat suit or something on. Um, so he's going to get 50% more uh, energy and damage resistance when he's not in power armor. And then he gets uh, rejuvenation so that he gets better benefits from being well fed and hydrated. Now, you can drop Ironclad if you want to wear power armor. That's completely up to you in this build and your team setup there. Uh, but the way my team works is this guy's basically just in there to soak up the rads. And if he's in a uh, power armor suit, uh, he's not really getting a whole lot of rads. Um, I know with some of the other gear that he can wear, like the hazmat suit, it lowers. If you get like the a pristine hazmat suit, you get like no rads. But I always uh, have my guy equipped with a... Um, damaged hazmat so that he actually does take some rad damage so that uh, rad sponge comes into effect um, under charisma again this is a team build I have bodyguard so he gets another uh, 36 if you have a four-man group uh, 36 uh, energy and damage resistance that works with or without power armor I have filled surgeon so that my stim packs and rad ways work much more quickly and then I have rad sponge uh, when affected by rads, so as long as I have at least one rad, uh, I uh, periodically heal 200 rads on my nearby enemies, which is fantastic. Uh, over in intelligence, again, because we want to be able to get all of the great uh, perks for or uh, mods for our shotguns, we go with gunsmith so that we get the 50% slower break with our guns, and we can craft up to tier 5 guns. And then our weapon artisan so that we can repair our own shotguns and get that up to 200%. Now, if you have somebody in your team that's going to be your smithy, your, your crafter class character, then you really don't need gunsmith or weapon artisan under intelligence. I mean, you can go in here and get things like uh, uh, first aid so that they la or you know uh, they restore more. And you can get pharmacists so your right away removes more and... Uh, I mean, you can come in here and just get all sorts of different stuff, but all of my gun builds go with gunsmith and weapon artisan so that they can keep control of their own weapons that way. Uh, under agility, we got six points. We've got action boy and girl because we're going to be using vats a little bit uh, just so that we can kind of pick and choose where we're shooting here. Um, so that gives us 45% faster uh, action point recovery that also allows us to sprint a little bit more often enforcer shotguns gain a 15 percent chance to stagger and a 30 percent chance to cripple limbs now if you're not in vats that means that you can shoot them and it'll cripple their leg their arm their head whatever if you're in vats if you want you can get the uh perk um under perception uh concentrated fire uh so you can pick what body part if you really just don't want skeet shooter but uh or if you 
don't get anything in intelligence. You can add points wherever. But um, for when you're not in vats, this is a really good, really good perk. Um, under luck, for the last eight points of our build, we have four leaf clover, so that when we're in vats, we have an excellent chance to fill that critical meter just by hitting the target. Uh, junk shield. Uh, again, because our guys got pack rat, and we want to be carrying a little bit of junk with us at all times, so we get another 30 damage and energy resistance with no power armor. And then we have bloody mess rank two. That gives us 10% damage uh, increase across the board. Um, the reason why I go with junk shield to get that 30 is because that will couple with bodyguards for 36, so that puts us at 66 energy and damage resistance. And then we have uh, Ironclad if we're not in power armor, which gives us another 50. So we're well over 100 and... Uh, what is it? 106? Yeah, 106. Um, no, 116. Sorry, math is bad. Uh, 116 uh, energy and damage resistance if we're not in power armor. So that's one reason why I do that. That makes this guy pretty tanky uh, once you hit that level 50 level. Uh, area i was going to show you guys this you can slow down the video if you need to uh pause it where you need but this is the roadmap that they say between levels 2 and 47 again in order to get all of the cards that we have listed will be level 56 but just starting off this tells you exactly what you need to do i know it's a little confusing when you look at this but basically what it says is uh, at level 2 i should put one point into uh getting action boy and girl then I put another point so I can either get rank two of that or I can put one point into strength and get traveling pharmacy if I really want. And then from there you just keep going down the list. What it says here, this is uh, any perk you weren't able to pick from the previous tree. It just keeps adding those up. Um, so like at like rank nine, we have three perks that we can't that we weren't able to pick from up here. So we can actually go back if we didn't get lucky enough with our perk packs at levels uh, 4, 6, and 8, uh, we can actually go back and pick ones that we needed. Um, and it just keeps going. As you can see, obviously I'm not going to be able to get Shotgunner, Skeet Shooter, Gunsmith, and Junk Shield all at level 11. So I have to pick one, which gives me a plus 3. So, um, you know, and then here, obviously, I can't pick all of these. And so it just it keeps stacking because of the level stuff. But there you go, boom, all the way down, four leaf clovers there at level 30. Uh, you know, and then you can slowly start dropping them once you hit 35, slowly start dropping them. And then at the 40, we get weapon artisan plus another perk pack. Boom, boom, boom. Now, some of you might get super, super lucky with your perk packs and be able to pick up a lot of these cards earlier on. So, just keep that in mind. Um, the big thing, though, guys, is just have fun with the game, okay? Uh, I have to rant just a little bit in this video, but in another video, I'm going to rant a lot more about this. I understand that some of you have found your, quote-unquote, perfect farming places for XP, um, which is fine. But when you see lower levels trying to use the same area to grind out levels to to their advantage um don't hassle them you know obviously this game is big enough for all of us to be here um if it's that big of an issue for you politely ask them to leave if they choose not to you know don't don't harass them that's just i mean we're all trying to have fun you know we don't we don't want to get harassed okay um prime example is i had a guy while i was playing with a friend of mine on playstation yesterday uh, decided that we were too low level for the area that we were in, which was inaccurate. Um, and so he decided to hassle us. Um, started running around trying to get us to initiate PvP. Uh, started cussing at us and whatnot. And, you know, guys, that, that takes away from everybody in the gaming community when you act like that. So uh, just a word of advice. Please, please, please. Be respectful to your fellow gamers. Um, it, it makes gaming a lot more enjoyable for everybody when we can all be friendly towards one another. I understand, you know, maybe you're under a time crunch or whatever and you're just trying to get those levels and you feel like somebody's coming in and stealing that XP from you. But just keep in mind, we're all here to play a game. So 
just keep that in mind. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this build. Uh, I am going to get out a solo melee build, hopefully today, and I'm also going to do an XP farm build. So, uh, anyway, I will catch you guys in the next video. This is Chris from Gibbs Gaming. As one, we will rise stronger and wiser. Make sure, if you're not a subscriber, hit that button I'm going to put right up in the middle so you can subscribe. Hit the bell notification so that you can be uh, notified when I get more builds out. Hit the video that's going to be on the left-hand side of your screen there so that uh, YouTube has picked a video for you. And then the one on the right-hand side is going to be a playlist of all our Fallout 76 uh, gil or builds, <laughs> guides, tips, tricks and uh, other assorted videos. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.